we are trying to find that suspicious man. I don't know who we, who we could talk to, though. I mean, Doug, yeah, but I don't see anybody else here on the bridge. Yeah, we need to ask him if he robbed a bank. That's, that's not newsworthy in the slightest. Okay, is there anybody else we can talk to? This person? That's that dog! I like this dog. Definitely, definitely a cool dog. Yeah, poor Cheryl. Nobody's tried to solve the mystery of who he is or how he can talk to humans yet. We just sort of ignore that. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll get to it at the end of the game. Okay, so there's a guy who walked by. Oh no! Other side of the river. Okay, well we'll go there. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I'll share some food with you. We're friends! Alright, we're gonna catch up with this shady guy. We've been chasing him for a while, but now we're gonna find him. For real. And he's not here. Okay, I guess we can't find him. But we can ask everybody else for information. Hey, hounds. You have a puzzle? I have a feeling this will not be related to the shady guy. But we can solve it anyway. So what is the cheapest possible fare? There are four stations running parallel. It costs two dollars, I mean two pound, to travel through unlimited stations on one line, one pound to travel across. What's the cheapest possible route starting from the, the bottom left? Take all three red stations. And wow. Okay. All three red stations along the way. Hmm. I'm confused. Where's my ending place? So, I mean, I start here, okay. Where am I finishing, though? That is my question. I, I still have that question. Hmm. There's got to be a trick to this puzzle, right? Because otherwise the game wouldn't, wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, so uh, presumably in order to get... Uh, let's see, okay, so I'll go up one, up two, up three, one, two. okay, so I'd have to go, you know, we'd have to go, let's just make a note, I'd have to go up, um, one, okay, one, two, three times, go up three times maximum, I don't know where I'd go down because I don't know where we're finishing, I'd have to go left and right, one, two, three, four, three times. I can't even read my own handwriting. Okay, so three times three. So three times three, uh, I mean three times one and three times, yeah, so it's nine? I've seen how to solve this now. Nope. Not good, Catriel, not good. She looks like she's a conductor on the, on the line. You seem to have gotten it wrong. That's not much of a helpful hint. Okay. First, find the shortest route through all three red stations. It... Where is the departure station, though? Um, I mean, that's the one I'm leaving from, but I don't know where I'm trying to end. Okay, so it passes through eight stations. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm getting real tripped up on this, just, just, where, where am I supposed to finish? Alrighty, so... It says eight stations, so like one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. That's what I got, basically. That's that's what I got. Okay, well I'll try that again. So that means I go up one, two, three, four, five, six. So six ups, and then left and right is one, two, three, and then three left and right. So, uh, let's see. Six plus, okay, so that's six of the one, and then three of the two. So three times two is six, plus six. So that'd be twelve. Oh, okay. I'll do another hint. The first stop is the station at the bottom right. What- wait, what do you mean the first stop is at- <sighs> Okay, we'll try again. It seems to be saying that I go to the bottom right one. <sighs> I'm sorry, I just- just- Getting way too caught up in- Okay, so there's one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So that's a uh, one, two, three up, and then one, two, three left and right. If we can end on any of the red ones, which, as I've explained, has not been explained. Okay. So let's see. So three up and downs, and upper up and downs are um. Two pounds each. Nope, nope, up and down is one. So three times one. Three up and then one, two, and then. Okay, so three times one. Didn't I already do this though? So three times two is, is, is six, and then one uh, plus three is nine. I could have sworn I already did nine. I could have sworn I've already suggested nine. Apparently not. Drawing a number nine is really difficult. This is an interesting one. Not good, Catriel, not good. Okay, forget it. I'm not gonna try to solve this puzzle anymore. I just looked up the solution. It's seven. I... <laughs> I will be wondering how it is seven. So let's let's take a look and see what the game's explanation is. I've seen how to solve this now. Puzzles are made for solving. Or they're made for frustration. Either way. Okay. Um. I guess. Yeah, I guess that kind of cuts out a left or right. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. And that doesn't help me solve my mystery. So, yeah. Not that guy. Oh, we have to talk to crazy guy again? Oh, he's got a puzzle too! No! Puzzle, I'm not in the mood. Okay, uh, okay, let's try this. Uh, there's a sunny island that's always warm. There's a fish that's packed in ice to keep it at a good temperature. It needs two blocks for one day and three blocks for two days. So five blocks... Wait, why is five blocks required for three days? Um, okay, so one plus two, great. So what's the minimum number of blocks to keep it fresh for just a week? So, wouldn't it just be these five blocks for three days, and then I add on three more blocks for two days, plus two days, so that's five plus three plus three, which is five plus six, which is eleven. I eat puzzles like this for breakfast. That was just a warm-up one, wasn't it? Yep. Oh, it's a trick puzzle. Okay. It's a trick puzzle. I hate these trick puzzles. It's like, why are you even trying to give me math? Mm. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go with the trick puzzle solution of zero. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, did you see that suspicious guy? Hmm. Okay, so we keep visiting areas we visited in previous cases, I've noticed. Helps save them money so they don't have to, to make new backgrounds all the time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so where where's next? Okay, we're not letting this guy get away. Here, Mr. Shady. You've got a puzzle all no. Okay, fine. We'll solve your puzzle, and then you explain what's going on. Mm-hmm. Bank robber? Puzzle number 80, light security. There's a mysterious thief that, hey, I think I've seen this 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 uh, puzzle before. Wasn't this like one of the bonus puzzles at the end of the second Professor Layton game? Okay, so I want to surround the jewels with lit up panels in order touching a panel makes it light up red. So, I mean, if I touch that panel, it eventually gets me stuck there. Okay. And this continues that are no more. And what do I want to do? So, I want to... Surround these jewels with lights. So, I want... Let's see... Hmm. Doesn't work like that. So if it's something like this... No... Because that's where we get stuck, there. So, okay. Um... This is gonna be a tough one to do without, um, hitting my camera. <laughs> So the key one is going to be this, I think. If I start there, it gets it gets stuck. It gets stuck. Alrighty. If I start here, it's up, up, up. It's like this. Yeah. Hmm. There's no way to really get this one, is there? Huh. I mean, obviously, if I start here, but that gets me stuck, though. Huh. I'm gonna go with a hint. Yeah, I did that already. Really? Really? That's not even kind of helpful, hint buttons. Yeah, because how could I get that one? Like, if I did this, though... Yeah, this one. It wouldn't technically be this area, but it would still circle the, uh, the entire thing. Right? Right? That's the trick? This is an interesting one. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. Oh, boy. Okay, well, at least one puzzle is solved well.
Okay, so why have you been acting so shady, sir? Money outside the bank? Wow, lots of money on the street. Well, why is all this money everywhere? Hmm, but that sounds like a very important clue if there's just money all over the area. <laughs> I need that money. Okay, so that should be the final clue to the mystery. Final clue to the mystery. In the next video, we'll put all our clues together and see if we can figure out what's going on with all these scattered banknotes.